Hello friends, today we have some important bits on numerical methods that is multiple choice questions. So let's have a look on the first question. So first question says, which of the following statements applies to the bisection method used for finding roots of the function? So here the question is about the bisection method. So let's have a look on the options. Convergence within a few iterations? No, bisection method takes large number of iterations. So this is not true. It is faster than the newton raphson method. newton raphson method is faster than the bisection method. So this, well, this is also not true. It requires that there be no error in determining the sign of the function. It is also not true. Last option, it gives solution to all continuous function. Yes, it gives solution to all continuous function. It is applicable for all types of function that is for transcendental function as well as polynomial function. So the correct option is this, the last option. Okay, let's have the second question. The convergence of which of the following method is sensitive to starting value? So which method is sensitive for the starting value? So we have seen that false position method, bisection method, both work on a bracketing range that is of A and B. Okay, but newton raphson method works on single value that is denoted as x0 and it is sensitive whether you are going to start with the correct approximate root or not. So the answer for this is newton raphson method. Okay, so let's check. The answer for this is yes, it is Newton Raphson method. Okay, now next question. It is said del f of x, that is error contained in the function f of x, equals to f of f x plus h minus f of x. Okay, so this is a kind of representation for this function containing error. So, what is the value of del k for a constant k? Okay, so it is asking if this is the representation for error in del of f, f of x, then what is for del k? So, according to the option, we have to check the answer. So, what is given here? This all four option. But if you will check, the important bit is what? It is a constant k. Okay, it is asking about the error in the constant k. So, we have to know that constant k means it is a fixed value. Constant k means it is a fixed value. So, there should be no error. So, it is an error free value. Okay. So, error will be 0. So, the answer for this will be 0. So, according to the option, we will write, tick that. The correct option is none of the above. So, the answer for this question is none of the above. The small thing we have to remember. Now, in next option, next question, we will see what is it says. The root of x cube minus 2x minus 5 equals to 0. Correct to 3 decimal places by using newton raphson method is it is asking about the root of this equation that is x cube minus 2x minus 5 equals to 0 so this kind of the similar question we have done in uh, the numerical problem video also you can watch there let's have a look on the solution a quick solution so here we have the solution table so what we have to do first we have to find the value of x naught that is the approximate root correct approximate root for newton raphson method and then we will apply this formula for Newton Raphson formula that is what? Yes, you see, this is this kind of formula. Right? So, here the uh, formula is about the next iteration value and that has been asked in this question. So, x1 equals to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0. Okay? So, here we can see the value in the form of table. You can directly use the calculator here. No need to go through the procedure because it is a multiple choice question. So, we have approximated, uh, we have taken the approximated root as 2. So, f of x has come in like this and this and this. So, the solution is coming. The x n plus 1 is like this. So, the approximated root up to correct 3 decimal places. So, we can take it like 2.094551. And in option, the approximated root is given as 2.0946. So, this can be taken as answer. Okay. And let's check the correct answer. Yes, this is the correct answer. And even if you are attempting a multiple choice question, in any competitive exam or anywhere then you need not to go in this table also just use your calculator and take your roots you will get one of the root like this okay so that is a quick method and if you are getting two similar option which is uh, there in the calculator because it is x cube function so there will be through roots okay so suppose you have two or three option which are coming in the calculator then you have to use this method right 
so this is our next question so next question asked newton raphson method is applicable to the solution of so we have to go for the statement so the statement says that it is applicable for both algebraic and transcendental equation yes we have seen that it is applicable for algebraic and transcendental equation both yes what is algebraic equations only no it is not only applicable for algebraic not only applicable for transcendental it is applicable for both and what is the last option it is applicable for both algebraic transcendental equation and also used for complex roots no it is not used for complex root okay so the correct option is the option a that is both algebraic and transcendental equation so we have to check the answer yes this is the correct answer okay what is the next question next question asked errors may occur in performing numerical computations on the computer due to due to rounding errors due to power fluctuation due to operator fatigue or all of the above so the in computer we get the numerical computation because of the rounding error because we have some kind of digits uh, like we have a fraction 10 by 3 so if we have the digit it goes from 3.3333 up to infinity okay but in computer it has a limit that is suppose for 10 digits for 20 digit whatever is there okay so it has to round off that point clear so we can we will get the rounding error in the computer only not the all clear so let's check the answer the answer is rounding error now what is the next question the newton raphson method is also called s yes it is a typical question you have to go according to the question right so here the options are chord method tangent method second method or diameter method so clearly these two methods are not of our right option it is not a second method it is not a diameter method okay it is a tangent method yes it is a tangent method and in definition we can say that uh, newton raphson method is a chord method which is used to find the root yes we used to say that it is a chord method okay but usually we say the another name for this method as tangent method okay so because we have only one correct answer for this four so the best suitable answer according to this is tangent method so we have to choose this answer okay so according to the um, option the correct answer can be taken as the tangent method right now next question newton raphson method of numerical equation is not preferred yes yeah, so where what is the limitation of newton raphson method where it cannot be preferred so the options are graph of f of x is not parallel graph of f of x is vertical graph of f of x is nearly horizontal where it crosses the x axis none of the above so the correct option for this is yes this graph of f of x is nearly horizontal where it crosses the x axis okay how so suppose this is my curve and if this comes horizontal near the x axis here suppose is it is horizontal to the x axis then the tangent to this line will not cross the x axis okay suppose this, i have a curve like this which is going uh, like this then if i'll draw a tangent line then it will go parallel to the x axis and it will not cross the x axis right so at that time it will be difficult to find the root of the axis because of the newton raphson method right so correct option for this is the c option okay so the correct option is this now next question the equation f of x is given as x square minus 4 equals to 0 considering the initial approximation at x equals to 6 then the value of x1 using newton raphson method is given as so we have to find the value of x1 and the function is given as x square minus 4 and the starting value is given that is x naught is 6 okay we have to find the value of x1 so what is the equation we have the formula for newton raphson method is x1 equals to x naught minus f of x naught divided by f dash of x naught right so this is our equation so we have to put the value in this equation only and then we will get all our answer so here has the solution that x naught is given as 6 now what is f of x naught if we will put f of x naught so we will put 6 value in the equation x square minus 4 so we will get 36 minus 4 so that is what 32 so f of x naught is 32 what is the f dash of x naught 
so f dash f of x naught is uh, how much f dash of x naught is the first derivative of this equation so that can be written as 2x okay the first derivative of this equation is 2x so 2 into 6 is how much 12 so this is the value for this 3 unknown now put all the values in this equation you will get so according to this is the correct answer answer is 10 by 3 a easy question if you know the formula then you can easily calculate so the correct answer is 10 by 3 right now have a look on the last question the root of the equation f of x equals to 0 is found by using the newton raphson method the initial is estimate of the root is x naught equals to 3 f of 3 equals to 5 the angle of the tangent line to the x axis is 57 degree at x equals to 3 it is a typical question okay we have to find the next estimate of the root that is x1 we have to find the value of x1 next estimate of the root okay so what is given x naught is given okay then f of x naught is given that is 5 okay and we have given by an angle of the tangent line to the x axis so for the solution of this question we have to go to the concept of the newton raphson method by the help of graphical representation right so in graphical representation we have used this kind of graph so what we say suppose this is the curve of this equation then we get some our first approximation root that is given as x naught equals to 3 and the corresponding value corresponding point on the curve that is f of x naught okay so we have this two value on the equation on the question right so, and next thing what is that the tangent curve and the x axis angle that is given as 57 degree this three we have been given we have to find the value of next estimate of the root that is this x1 we have to find this x1 okay so how can we do that take this angle the value of angle is given so if i'll write the 10 of this angle suppose that is alpha so what will be this that will be the ratio of this divided by this so i can write as a ratio of pq by qr okay so we will use this concept here okay so let's have a look on the solution so here i have the value as alpha as 57 degree x naught is given as 3 and f of x naught is 5 so what is 10 alpha 10 alpha is pq by qr pq by qr what is pq pq is this length and that is what that is my f of x naught okay that is f of x naught and what is my qr qr is this length so i can take this as the difference between x naught minus x1 okay so that i that is the difference between x naught minus x1 so by keeping all the values here this is the value where we have to find the value of x1 so just get the value of x1 you will get this value so for the complete solution for the complete explanation of this graph and that what is the graphical representation of newton raphson method a separate video has been already uploaded you can watch that right so what is the value of x1 we got it minus 0 0.247037 so the approximated answer is this option b right so this is the solution for this kind of question a conceptual question so these are the 10 set of the multiple choice questions based on the newton raphson method using bisection method uh, newton raphson method and our regular falsi method okay the possible questions thank you